What is going on everybody? My name is Massa and welcome to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Uh, this is the Snoop Dogg bundle that just got added today. Uh, just thought I'd do a little bit of a showcase. This is the skin, so it comes with two different skins. Not sure why it looks so dark here. Let me go to the operators. So there he is, <laughs> looking pretty sick. Uh, we got two different ones, so we have the do double g and just a standard snoop dog skin i think i'm gonna go with a do double g i think it looks quite a bit nicer um now yes i know bundles we don't like them they're too overpriced hell i paid 30 dollars for this fucking bundle it's ridiculous but it's snoop dog i'm enjoying this game and everything is carrying over to modern warfare 3 which is going to be pretty damn sick uh considering that they basically just reset you at the end of every single game it's good to know that we can at least keep our shit we've paid for there are also two new weapons uh, i have not equipped any of them but we're going to go ahead and do that so here is the first one life of da party let's check it out i haven't actually used this before I actually cannot hear anything and I'm starting to wonder what, there you go. That means you guys couldn't hear anything either. Uh, let's check it out. Looking real nice. There is one other one and that is this one here, Toke Force 141. It is the PDW, and again, this looks real nice. Ooh. It has got, like, no recoil. Especially to mountain, it is a laser. If I can hit my shots, there you go. Okay, that is really, really nice. And here's the last one, the Wild Hand Fire. They're kind of similar to the ones that come with Starlight, I think her name is. Which I bought that bundle as well. They look very similar. These are the ones that come with Starlight. So pretty similar. I think the Snoop Dogg ones may be more accurate, but they are pretty similar to these. Also a couple bits and pieces. It comes with a finishing move. A vehicle skin, which I really like, uh, a charm, loading screen, and an emblem, which I'm going to put that emblem on for sure. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd hop in to a game of shipment and test all of this out. Got that one on there. Let's go for the PDW here, uh, which is Tech Force 1 for 1. There you go. And... Uh, wild and free. There you go. All right, beautiful. Let's uh, let's give them a go. All right, life of the party. I really like the look of this one. <laughs> Looks really friggin' nice. And I'm wearing the Snoop Dogg skin, so loving that. That thing stayed up a little bit longer than I would have liked. I couldn't even see that guy through the uh, through it. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm really hoping to be uh, a lot more consistent with uh, Modern Warfare 3 content when that comes out because honestly as much hate as this game gets yeah it deserves a lot of it but I've actually been really enjoying it this year um I dropped off for like like two months or so but I hopped back on and they've made some really nice changes and I'm yeah I'm really enjoying it like I went back and played Vanguard because Vanguard I played basically nothing of basically skipped out that entire year. I think I got to like Prestige 1 and that's it. Which, to be fair, I haven't leveled up that crazy amount on here. 
Like I'm at like prestige 9 out of like prestige 20. So I haven't even reached half the levels that this game has available. But I've got almost every gun gold. Uh, just need to do some snipers and that's pretty much it. Snipers and pistols. And I think that's it. I don't have very high hopes for Modern Warfare 3. I'm really worried about getting disappointed. Because Call of Duty is the one game where I'll always eventually go back to. There's a couple of games I've missed out on. Um, and surprisingly, so Advanced Warfare is probably my favorite game. And if you look back at some of my very old videos, it's me playing Advanced Warfare. So I was very surprised that the two games that Sledgehammer Games have been making, or well, have made, uh, were the ones that I didn't really seem to resonate with. World War II, which I really enjoyed, and I think it had some amazing ideas, especially going back and playing it now. It's super, super fun. And of course, Vanguard. I played like none of Vanguard, which isn't very surprising. A lot of people didn't really play Vanguard all that much. Oh, accidentally changed weapons. I really gotta change that from tap to pick up to hold. I gotta tap for Warzone and it just kinda changes it on here. Uh, I am gonna be doing a Season 5 review because I've got some thoughts I'd like to share about this season. Um, I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty good, to be honest. The Battle Pass is probably the best we've gotten. My main complaints are the maps. Well, specifically one of the maps. <sighs> we need more fun maps, man. We just need fun maps back. Like, Black Ops 3 had that map where you were literally miniatures fighting on a picnic table. And Vanguard did some of that stuff. Like, they did that one where it's like a small city and you're seems like you're a giant for that Godzilla event which you know obviously I didn't play in its prime but I went back and played it and it was pretty cool I guess but a little bit small if anything this gun is cracker we did not even use the PDW <laughs> I didn't even realize uh we'll go and use that in just a sec damn killing it with the P89s also sorry that my camera quality isn't the greatest it's temporary um i'm using a completely different setup i am completely out of my own home at the moment i'm in a new place um that i've just got a kind of temporary setup for now but it's going to have to do oh right what a great way to start off the uh the match well it's accurate What's with all the flashes? This has those tracer rounds as well, I guess. Yo, I am just picking up random guns here. I need to turn that off ASAP. <laughs> uh, I just don't like the over-reliance on... Oh, that could have been so much more. Also, what the hell is happening in this match? I'm getting cooked. But uh, this gun is good. Oh, I was gonna pull them out on ya. Damn. I'm not a fan of these akimbo. Like, akimbo is obviously really good, but I like having the aim. And I feel like I'm not accurate with akimbo. Because when I aim, I usually expect the, aid, the ADS sensitivity to be slower. There's also the new Havoc mode, which is cool, um, which I'm obviously going to play and elaborate on for my new, uh, for my Season 5 review. I'm getting, I'm getting roasted. I'm getting absolutely fucking put on the spit today. Give me a break. They got like 4 UAVs, 10 counter UAVs, 600 mortar strikes. I'm over here praying for my damn life. Also, if anyone knows how to record their face cam without it being 7,000 gigabytes, like, man, I've been recording for 23 minutes and it is like 50 gigs right now. It's ridiculous. Oh, 
Where's like one bullet off? Well, at least I got him. I wish that double XP was just permanently on. I feel like I want to play this game so much more. Such a grind to level up. I don't know how some people do it. Well, somehow we won. Look at that, 65 kills, 3 seconds. SpongeBob's gravy. What are you doing, mate? Uh, Alright, well, that is the Snoop Dogg bundle. Uh, it's pretty cool. I really like the weapons. They're pretty strong, pretty accurate. Uh, do I think it's worth $30? Hell no. But... It's up to you if you want to buy it. Just remember, all this stuff does carry over to Modern Warfare 3. So it's not like you're buying stuff that's going to be dead in like two months. Um, so yeah, Modern Warfare 3 officially launches on November 10th. I am going to be doing probably a video on that or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.